with another thrift haul, yay that. Um, this is part two of my like epic thriftcation thrift haul. Um, so thank you for sticking with me and coming back to check that out. So this is all the stuff that I got when I visited um, some family on the other coast of our state. And also a few things that I've thrifted just kind of like here and there randomly. I haven't been thrifting like tons and tons, but I've picked up a few things you know, sporadically. So I'll show you some of that and yeah, let's get started. Okay, so I just kind of have everything like all around me. So I'm just gonna like kind of grab stuff. So the first thing I actually um, did not get on our thriftcation, I just found them recently, but I thought they were really cute. Um, so they're just these little wooden animals. So I've got a little cheetah, Ellie, hippo, and my husband thinks it's this guy's a warthog, but I think he's supposed to be like a baby rhino. <laughs> I don't know. But they're really cute little carved um, animals, jungle animals, African animals. Um, so those guys I found as like a little pack and they are currently up in my Etsy. Um, then I found this little owl trivet. He's pretty um, rustic and I don't know if he's like, looks very professional but he's really cool I just really like him um, he has little knobs on the bottom so he is gonna be really nice to hold a candle I love these like old wooden trivets so he's really rad um, he is also up on Etsy then I just nabbed this little um, brass tray really cool. I really like all the filigree and all the details on it. I just thought this would be like a really nice little catch-all like um, maybe on your vanity or in the bathroom like it would be nice with some perfumes on it or you could just use it for jewelry or you know whatever. It's nice and flat so it just kind of adds a little element of interest and excitement um, and texture wherever you place it. So it's very useful that way and I just thought it was really simple and pretty. Um, then I got these two ginormous, I guess they're fans, um, but I would use them as wall decor. So I got this one and this one's smaller, but I just thought they would be really cool. Like if you had a basket wall and you wanted to do like a really boho um, look, I thought these would be really rad. So I picked up both of these at Goodwill. Okay, um, then I got this little pewter teapot. So I just thought he was really cool. Um, I like really liked the details on the handle. And then um, he, is, he does have a maker's mark on the bottom, which is nice. So that's kind of cool. He's by New Amsterdam Silver Company um, and he is pewter. And then I also have the matching little creamer and then the sugar dish. So I'm gonna sell these three as a set. Um, I paid $10 for these guys. So I'll probably sell them for like around 30 or 40. Um, yeah, the baskets, if you're interested, these were $3 each. Um, the little brass tray was $3 and the little owl I think was a dollar. Um, my Goodwill is obsessed with making everything $2.99. That's like their number. I have no idea why. Um, the next thing is probably like one of my most favorite like treasured items. It's so stupid, but I just think it's so cool. Um, I'm going to have a hard time selling it. So it's this sort of rustic 1970s little pottery um, container that says brushes on it. And I don't know. I just love it. It's just so 70s. And I just think, oh my goodness, like this was obviously like for paint brushes, but how rad would this be um, for makeup brushes? So I just think it's so cool. Um, it's very simple and just like clean. And I don't know, I just really like it. Um, so this was $2.99. Sorry, my chair is squeaking. It just, it just does these things. Um, Oh, then I found this little brass um, candle holder. So it is mid-century modern brutalist. I believe, so I did a lot of research. It took me forever. I believe it's Scandinavian. I believe it's by an artist named Petty 
Sarkanova. I hope that I did not mispronounce that. Um, it is listed on my um, Etsy, so the actual correct spelling and pronunciation, you can kind of sound it out, um, are on my Etsy, but I just thought it was really cool. I loved the details on that. Just really simple and small, um, and it does have a couple hallmarks on the bottom, which is always a good sign when you're looking for old pieces like that. Um, then I just grabbed this kind of funky 1970s little satchel. Uh, it's leather and it's just simple. I liked the colors. The little flap opens like that and then the back looks like that. It's obviously got some scratches and some love, but it's in really good condition. They're, the leather isn't cracked at all and the original label, like it doesn't actually have a label. It just was stamped on the inside. So pretty indicative of something that is actually 70s. So pretty excited about that. Thought that was really sweet and simple and just kind of cute and boho. So that is not listed, but that will be up on Etsy. Oh my gosh, these are so exciting. I don't know if you guys love glassware at all. I, It's coming out of my eyeballs. Like we have glasses everywhere, but I just cannot leave really cool mid-century glasses. So um, how rad are these for a man cave? So I have a set of four. They're all different. Um, these little pool balls. How cool are those? Right? So they're just, I don't know, I just love them. Um, they were a dollar each. I love how big and sturdy they are. They're perfect for like a beer and um, just like a thick, heavy glass. So they're less likely to break because, you know, if you're using them for beer, got to make sure they're not super breakable. Um, then I just picked up some vintage cards. So I have no idea if these are the full set but i really like them because um i use them it as package toppers so i usually pretty much just write on them but i did like the little i love the graphic on the back too like so cute so those were two dollars um and then i also picked up these little tiny cards there are little flowers and they're all different and they have little tiny envelopes so they're super cute um as like thank you notes or package toppers or they actually are really nice to put with like a present if you give somebody a present just to kind of stick a little note in there so that was cute um then i got these little japanese i don't know they're kind of like kookaburra um salt and pepper shakers maybe little kiwis i don't know but i thought they were really cute so I have yet to take the tape off because I'm scared that it's gonna rip all the paint off. So I think I'm gonna have to soak them. But I just thought they were really cute. Um, they were $1.99. Um, they do not have their stoppers, but they would have had cork stoppers because they're pretty old. So those two are really, really cute and they're in really good condition. Um, sometimes that older stuff just is not in great shape. So pretty excited about those. Um, I think a couple hauls ago I showed you I got a set of four of these so I just found this little girl like all by herself um, so she's not part of that other set so I'll probably list her after the other set sells or see if I can maybe find some others to go with her but she's just really cute she says I will hold the tea bag and I love her little face she does have a little flea bite right there but otherwise she's in really cute shape so cute little girl Oh, my sister-in-law found this fantastic cruel for me. Um, so it's just these beautiful flowers and I really like the frame too. This was $10. I kind of want to keep this. I, I don't know. I have a lot of cruels on my Etsy right now. So I'm going to kind of maybe see if some of them sell and then I might list this. But our guest bedroom eventually when it's done, who knows when. But when it is done, I really wanted to do like a floral gallery wall. So I might just kind of keep this in my back pocket and see if this will go with my other pictures. And then if it doesn't mesh well or there's not space, then I might list it. But I was really, ha really, really excited um, that she found this for me. It's just stunning. So very, very happy. Um, she's so sweet to do that. And then I found this 
phenomenal piece. Ugh. Talk about things I don't want to sell. <laughs> so this is just absolutely gorgeous. Um, Native American. It looks like it is maybe Inuit. Um, just really, really special. So it is signed at the bottom. Um, I can't make it out. I think it says Haida Eagle, but it is dated 1992. So it looks like it might actually be an original and not a print. Um, oh, it's labeled 11 out of 25. So I'm not sure if this is a print or if they did actually make 25 of these, but either way, it's absolutely stunning. It, it's so impactful and just like really powerful and stunning. I just, oh gosh, I just love it. Could be Eskimo too, if it's not Inuit, but anyway, I just, just really gorgeous. And I paid $5.99 for that. So, oh gosh, I think the key to letting stuff go is listing it like right away because when I have things in the house that are like sitting around and I'm looking at them, I just get like more and more attached as they stay. Whereas like if I list things right away, I'm like, I don't have time to be, to be attached. I don't know. So some of the stuff that's not listed yet, I'm like, oh gosh, this is not good. Um, then I found, so I have to do more research on these. I will say that like kind of my, um, area of opportunity where I could learn a lot more is on Oriental and Asia, Asian um, pottery and art too. I have a really hard time dating things, whereas um, other things I can date pretty easily, but I, I struggle. But sometimes your heart just tells you like, oh, just, I don't know, like, I guess sometimes you can just tell if something's really cool and even though you might not actually know how much it's worth, you still just kind of nab it. So um, I found these bowls. So they are a little bit chippy around the outside, but to me that almost is a good sign a little bit um, and indicative of their age. So they are painted. Um, you can definitely tell that they have been painted. Um, it's not a transfer or like a print of any sort they are hand painted um and one thing that's actually good about the bottom is that they're not marked a lot of the time um i do know that older pottery isn't marked so i think that to me that was actually kind of a good sign that there wasn't any marking on the bottom because that might mean that they are a little bit older they definitely look old to me because of just like the chippiness and the way the pottery is, but it's hard to tell really. Um, I know they're not modern because they would have been marked like made in Japan or made in China. I, and when I say modern, like 1970s and newer, um, but I don't know. I just thought they were really beautiful. So I just, I liked the set of two. I just liked the way they looked. I liked the feel, the texture. Um, I liked the chippiness. I liked the painting. I don't know. I just really liked everything about them. I felt like they would make such a beautiful statement on a tablescape. So um, they were $3.99 and $2.99. So probably like a little more than I think I would have liked to spend on chippy old bowls, but they're really pretty. So I don't know, maybe I was just in the mood to shop and I grab them, but as I look at them now, they just, they really do resonate and speak to me. So pretty excited about those guys, even though I don't really know their whole story. Um, then I got a set of these little bowls. So I am gonna sell these as a set. Um, they're just blue and white little rice bowls but one thing that I, I loved about them is they're all different so I paid a dollar each and I do think they are a varying age um, this one says Japan on the bottom really 
pretty. So I do know that um, generally older items just say Japan because later on it was enacted that it had to start saying like made in. So I would think this one is probably the newest out of the set because it says made in Japan. Um, but I would still say that these are all vintage because they do say Japan on the bottom. But they're just really pretty. They look so lovely stacked together and I love all the different patterns. So yeah, just just fun. So those were a dollar each, which is really not bad. And I was pretty excited about those little guys. Let me stick them over here. Um, now I have some jewelry. I didn't buy tons of jewelry. Um, I don't know. Fine jewelry hasn't been selling too well on our Etsy. It just sort of sits for a while. I don't know if it's just something like I need to get better at my photography. Probably, probably that's what it is. Um, so I don't buy tons, but I did buy most of this for me. So um, the, the only thing I did buy for the shop though is this really cool old bolo tie. So this was only $2 and it is real sterling silver um, and it's also a real stone. So to me, that was definitely worth $2. Um, it's in pretty ratty shape. You can kind of tell that the leather is pretty ratty and needs to be replaced. It looks good up here, but where the bolo had been kind of um, brought up and down is starting to get a little shabby, but there's just something really cool and vintage about it and I loved the stone. So definitely worth $2 and um, it is marked sterling, which is pretty rad. Then I just got a little daisy pin. I collect these um, old enamel flower pins and I put them on a little throw pillow. So I'm pretty excited for when we get the upstairs guest room done because I'm gonna put that little throw pillow with all my little pins on the bed and I think that should be pretty cute. So I got, and I love daisies too. So I got this, um, it was a dollar, it was 99 cents. So seemed worth it. Um, then I got this lady, she is, really pretty. She was definitely a splurge. I think I paid $30 for her, which is a whole a lot. Um, I was clearly like a little bit crazy, but I love her. She's a pin also. Um, and it's really not wanting to focus, but she's just really beautiful. She's kind of like this Victorian lady. Um, I love her hair flowing and she is sterling silver so she's a she's a really cool piece um but at a thrift store it's kind of like annoying to spend that much so that's probably like retail what she's worth but that's okay i still really love her um and i bought her for me i might list her one day but for now she's for me um you know these things change and then jordan bought me these really cool little um earrings so these were a pretty good price. I think these were 15. Um, they're these little sterling silver wolves and I love them. They're howling at the moon and then they have these little moons in the back. So these guys have been super cute and I've been wearing these all the time. So pretty excited about these guys. Really cute. Okay, so that's it for jewelry. Um, Let's see, what else do I have? Oh, all right, I have some pottery behind me. Let's see if I can get it without, okay. All right, um, so this is just like a little Navajo pot. Um, I kind of need to take a dry eraser um, to it just to clean up some of the scratch marks on it, but it's really, really pretty. Um, and it is signed. Um, it says El Posey um, on the back, on the bottom. Um, and it was three dollars sorry just kind of looking at it I thought maybe it said the tribe underneath but it did not but I really love this color these blues are so pretty the way they sort of ombre from lighter to dark just really really lovely so 
Um, this is really nice. I love I love how um, like the Navajo pottery they glaze the inside, but the outside's kind of this matte finish. It's really neat. Um, so very excited to pick up that. And um, I think I actually got that on sale for like two dollars. So kind of worth it. I definitely find like the mom and pop thrift stores are like one or the other. They're either like dirt cheap where everything's like so, so inexpensive or they're looking everything up on Etsy and eBay and pricing everything asking price, like eBay, Etsy asking prices. So it's kind of one or the other. Um, it's definitely hit or miss that way. You never know. Um, then I got a set of these blue glasses. So I got five of them. Definitely wish I had six, but that's okay. Um, they're just gorgeous. I believe they're from Indiana Glass Company. I love the way they pick up the light. And I actually have a set of these in brown, like the amber, and they're a little bit bigger, but I have not seen the blue out in the wild. I've seen the green and the amber a lot, but the blue are pretty rare. So I'm very excited about these. And I hope that they sell because I love buying glassware. So I really hope that they sell because then I can buy more fun glassware. I find a lot of glassware. I guess it's just our area. I think different areas like have different things, but it's hard to store. It's hard to store like a whole bunch of glassware. So I'm hoping that these find a home so that I can buy more and it makes sense to keep buying it. Um, then I picked up this little um, brass deer. I really liked him. He's He's definitely older because he's got a lot of detail to him. He's got like, you can kind of see he's sort of shaggy. Um, he's got super dark patina um, and he was 25 cents. So that's pretty fun. I love his little antlers. I might put him out um, at Christmas. I haven't really fully decided um, what I'm gonna do with him. I might just list him, but he's just really rad. I really like him. Okay, um, oh starting to get all my stuff is starting to get farther and farther away I'm like oh it's so far away um I found this really cool candle holder uh it looks sort of homemade and it's really neat I loved all the different color woods that were put together it's sort of like this weird sort of funky boho piece definitely different but it would look really neat up on a shelf and I don't know Kind of folky and different so that's usually what I pick up is stuff that I find to be kind of like boho and different and unique so I thought that was really cool then I picked up this mug for myself oh my gosh you guys how hilarious is this it says Belinda so it's definitely old I would say 40s 50s I love the flower graphic oh my gosh I just love it and I love that it says Belinda. I'm like so stoked on this mug. Like I can't wait to bring it to work and drink coffee from it and have all my friends just be like, and then everyone's gonna start calling me Belinda, but it's like totally worth it. Cause it's amazing. Belinda, like Belinda's mug. Does anybody know a Belinda? Like please leave a comment if you know a Belinda or if your name's Belinda, that would be even more awesome. But yeah, that'd be really cool. Belinda, I got your mug. Um, then I picked up some, Jordan found these and I was so excited. He found some vintage um, Halloween stickers from like the 90s. Look at the monster, he's so cool. So these are really rad. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. I really like hesitate to take them out of the package cause they just look so cool in the package. But I don't know, I love Halloween. Oh my goodness, I love vintage Halloween so, so much. It's almost spooky season. I'm so ready to decorate the house. Eee, I can't wait. So um, I was really happy he found these for me. So thank you, Bear. Um. Oh, then I got this really cool crane. Isn't he neat? Um, he also has like some major patina could, could, he could use a polish, but like I, I prefer my brass like this, like all sort of old and dingy looking, but I know a lot of people would prefer him polished up and shiny. But anyway, he's really cool. I love his little feet. Um, and I've seen these guys a lot at thrift stores, but my thrift stores usually want like eight or $9 for just one. So it just doesn't really make sense to spend the money um, like for resale. But this guy was missing a screw on the bottom so his little feet were loose so he was like falling down. So they only had him marked at a dollar because he was kind of 
like needed some love. So Bear put a new screw on his little foot and now he is 100% good to go and definitely worth a dollar. He's so cool. I love his long legs. Long legs. Um, then I found this cute little box. Whenever I find little boxes I like, I nab them. I liked this little frog. It's kind of made out of straw, um, and wood. So he's neat. He's a little bit different. Um, okay. Now I have some textiles to show you. So, um, in some of my older videos, I've talked about textiles a lot. So, Definitely like my boho loving heart <sighs> rugs and textiles are probably like my most favorite thing to find and I haven't really found any really really pretty ones in a long time so when I do it's like <sighs> I get so excited so I found these on our thriftcation and I I pretty sure they're hand woven um they're definitely old so the first one is this guy um it's just like a perfect square. And I really love the colors on this because the oranges really pick up well with the other things in our home because I'm really into like fall autumnal colors. So I like um, like mustard and sort of a burnt orange and, and um, like avocado green and maroon. So this guy fits in really nicely with our color palette. And then the other one I found is so stunning. Look at that. So this to me looks like it might be, um, it looks Nordic. It looks like it might be Scandinavian or it could also be like maybe um, Ukrainian or Czechoslovakian, but it's just so beautiful. So I literally just have this um, folded and thrown over the side of a chair because I just love this texture. Like, oh, it's just so beautiful. And this is like, oh, this orange, you guys, is like my favorite color. Like, I love this burnt orange. It's just so 70s and just has my little heart singing. I love it so much. Um, so super excited about both of those pieces. They're both in our house right now. Those are definitely keepers. Uh, And I found this really cool blanket. So it's nice and big. It's really nice neutral tones. I really like the browns and the creams. And it's super red. So it is by Hilda. So I'm going to guess that it is, so it's from Iceland and it's 100% wool. So I'll show you the little label. How cute is that? So I would say this is probably like somewhere between the 50s and the 70s, um, but it's just like this really nice big wool blanket, but it's not itchy wool. It's actually really soft and cozy, which is weird because wool is usually the worst. So this is very well made. Um, and I love it. Oh my gosh, I love it. So I think I paid $5 for each of these things um, and worth it because they're amazing. Okay. Um, of course, everything that's over here is like large and in charge. That's always my life. So like I was saying, I've showed you tons of glassware and I have more glassware. So I have a set of these rocks glasses. Um, they're most likely Dorothy Thorpe, but I think we can all admit that the coolest thing about them is their like little atomic carrier that kind of looks like a little spaceship. Look at the little feet. Oh my gosh. So I'm gonna put it down because it's extremely heavy. So shipping that's gonna be a nightmare, <laughs> but they're just so pretty. I love the fade on these. They're just so simple um, and elegant and just like have a really great feel in your hand. And it's just like, wouldn't you want to have a drink? Like this just kind of makes you want to have a drink. I don't know. They're just stunning. So um, those were $12. Yeah. So um, 
it'll definitely be the right buyer has to find those guys because the shipping's going to be pretty expensive but oh my goodness they're so special and unique so when i find really special stuff like i've said before sometimes stuff sits for a little while it has to find the right buyer but i can't leave it behind i just can't it's so cool um so recently wow I found these little bowls. So they are all marked Italy on the bottom and they are hand painted. They really, to me, look like they're like anthropology. Like, doesn't this look so anthropology? I am not sure if they are vintage or not, but I'm going to guess that they actually are vintage, but I need to do a little bit more research and see. So I have a set of six of them so i just bought all six because i just thought they were beautiful um some of them have like a little bit of chipping on the edge like some little flea bites but nothing serious at all and they're just so pretty so anything that's hand painted is just really special to me and i love the colors and the flowers and they're just they look so pretty like all stacked too i don't know like i just love them so I think I'll probably sell these as a set as well. Um, that way someone can enjoy them. Okay. Oh, last thing that's, oh, two more things in front of me. And then I have a couple things on the side that I have to run and go grab and then we'll be good. So how cool guys. Um, I found a set of these bookends. So they are brass leopards. Um, they're kind of like climbing down these black. They're, I wanna say they're, they're acrylic. They could be wood, but I wanna say they're acrylic bases. Look at these leopards. Like how insanely awesome is this? Yeah, I'm so stoked on these. Like they're just so pretty. Like, oh, so this was a really cool find. Probably one of my best finds I've found in a while. Um, I'm really, really excited about them. They're really cool. So, yes. I would say they're probably 1980s, but just really rad. Um, so those are up on my Etsy, but might take the right buyer to find those, to, to rehome those. Oh gosh, let me not knock everything down. Okay. Um, so I found these cute little <laughs> mushroom spice jars. So the, the labels are kind of like falling off a little bit because of their age, but they are so cute. I love their pastel colors. I love their little mushrooms. I love their little wood hook that you can... use to hang if you want. They're just so cute. So that one says pepper. They're just really sweet. So very excited to find those. Um, those were $7. Hopefully somebody is obsessed with them just like me. Um, and then one of the coolest finds that I have yet to list because I'm like, oh my gosh, um, is this awesome brass flower so it looks like this on the inside I'm trying to show you because all of the petals come off so it's actually an ashtray so each one of the petals comes off and each individual person gets their own petal um, but you can also keep it all together and it's a flower kind of see so it's just stunning um, when I found it, I just thought it was really cool and unique and I felt like I had seen it before, but, but 
online and a long time ago. So when I when I actually found it and I realized what it was, I was like so excited by it. So I paid $8 for it, but I think it's worth a lot. So I'm really excited about it. It's just so unique and different and just really pretty, but also but also just really rare and, and weird. So anytime I can find something that's just like really unique and funky, that's when I know that it needs to come home with me and it's like a very special piece. Thanks for being so patient with this super crazy long video, guys. I really appreciate it. So the last few things are this little friendship plaque. Um, it's burwood, I believe. Um, so it's kind of like a wood composite and it's like a little Christian saying and it has a little hole so you can put it on your wall and it's just really simple and pretty and retro looking. Um, so I thought that was charming. And then this little mailbox, um, it's hand painted, it's enamel and then the enamel is hand painted and it just kind of opens like that, it has a little so you could put anything in it, but it's just really, really sweet. I love the blue and the flowers and just kind of the shabby look to it. It's hard to find things like that that are kind of like shabby chic nowadays because a lot of people like stuff like that. Um, and then going with that same theme is this 1940s um, vintage flower print. So I really, really love it. It is made in the USA. Um, it's Donald Art. It's a Donald Art uh, lithograph. And I also really like the little white and gold frame. It's just very simple, um, framed un under glass. And I think that somebody's really going to love this. It's just very, very charming and vintage. Um, it kind of looks like something that Hobby Lobby would rip off. So pretty excited about that. Very cute. Um, and then the last thing is this really cool pillow cover. Oh, he's upside down. Um, so it's this big giant pillow um, and it's a really cool peacock. It's made of sequins, kind of hard to see, but he's made of all these little sequins and he's embroidered and he's just really unique and ornate. So it's a nice big pillow cover and it has a zipper on the back so you can just easily insert a pillow inside of him and he makes a really cool statement. I think peacocks are really pretty. It would also be a really nice wall hanging, so you could do that too. But um, and he was three dollars, so excited about that. All right, guys, so that's that. Um, I did get a couple of pieces of furniture, so I'm gonna show you now. I'm gonna kind of like cut and then go and show you the two pieces of furniture, and then we'll be done. Okay, so the first thing I just got is this really cool vintage rattan bar cart. Um, he's on wheels. And he has a little sticker on the side that says he's handmade in the Philippines. So I'm really excited about him. I did not get him on my thriftcation, but that's actually probably for the best because he wouldn't have fit in the car. So very excited to find him. Um, he does have like one little piece that's loose that I need to repair. But other than that, he's in really great shape. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with him just yet. Might put him on Facebook Marketplace, might keep him. But anyway, I thought you guys would appreciate it because who doesn't love some good rattan, right? Especially old rattan, especially bar carts. So, yeah. So then the other piece I got is this humongous, um, I guess you could say it's a brass tray um, coffee table or side table. So let's see. Um, the bottom, it's kind of hard to tell, but the bottom is all carved and it's just really, really pretty. Um, I actually saw this like shoved in the side with the bicycles. I saw the bottom first and I was like, oh, that's awesome. That'll be great to hold a plant. And then like I saw the huge tray and I went crazy because I've wanted one of these for a really long time. Um, and I'm really excited about it. It has all of these really ornate pictures sort of scrolled into it um and i i just think it's so pretty so 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 pretty so really happy about finding this guy um i'll kind of back up a little bit so you can see um it's just really unique and 
very boho, which is kind of what we're going for. And then the other thing we found are these mid-century modern chairs. So this is just one, but we found a set of four. So they're really cool because they're vinyl and they are folding chairs. So if I fold him up, you can kind of see he is made by um, Coronet and it's called Wonderfold. So really cute. You'd have to be told they fold. So my husband actually got these to refinish and either keep or sell. We're not really sure what we want to do yet, but they have really cool like mid-century lines to them. And I liked this mustard. So the vinyl for the most part is in really good shape. So he's pretty much just refinishing the wood on them. But I thought you guys might like to see those. I love anything mid-century modern. So, alrighty.